called Academic Studies. It's got a lot of words in it. <laughs> oh, there's been a lot of studies done in academic tomes about the benefits of singing in a choir and on your own. Endless hours are spent to prove what we already sort of knew. Singing for your health is something everybody ought to do. energy, it brightens up your day, even gives your heart and lungs a little work out on the way. They can study all they like and try and measure all the real good things, but everybody knows that singing really is a feel-good thing. Everybody knows that singing is a feel-good thing. Very good, you should join that choir. <laughs> there are people here amongst us who say singing's not for them, you know. Too much talk of talent and the tonsils and the tremolo. But we don't give a jot about the operatic roundabout. We open up our gobs and take a breath and let the sound come out. <laughs> we open up our gobs and take a breath and let the sound come out. Open up our gobs and take a breath and let the sound come out. Open up our gobs and take a breath. <sighs> they talk about endorphins and releasing oxytocins to give stress reduction pain relief without a pill or potion. It's creative and uplifting, always fun and never boring. You get a better sleep and it can even stop you snoring. You get a better sleep and it can even stop you snoring. So we're here to tell you singing is for each and every one. It's a fundamental pleasure to be sharing in a song. When the studies are all over and the research is complete, the living proof is singing in the spirit of the street. <laughs>